Hi, the good viewers. Scott Chen here with a video for Wednesday, November 25th, 2009. Well, the slide the greenback continues. Today, the US dollar reached a 15 month low against the euro. The Fed looks like it's going to keep the federal funds rate low um, at least through late 2010, so expect uh, the dollar to remain weak for the foreseeable future. Uh, gold is simply looking better and better with uh, each passing day. Uh, many economies across the globe aren't in a hurry to raise their rates either. Uh, some are still cutting, in fact. Uh, for example, a country that we don't uh, quite talk too much about, uh, Russia. Uh, besides the goal of uh, stimulating its economy, uh, Russia is also planning to uh, slow down the inflow of capital uh, into the country, uh, which is threatening the stability of the ruble. Uh, this week, the Russian central bank uh, cut a key rate uh, for the ninth time uh, since April to try to stem the use of the ruble uh, to profit from carry trade. Uh, carry trade basically is uh, borrowing uh, one currency that has low interest rates, for example the greenback, and then uh, using the proceeds to buy uh, another currency with high, which pays high interest rates, uh, for example the ruble. And so the profit is the difference between the interest rate you pay for borrowing and the interest rate that you get paid uh, for investing in the currency. Uh, Russia currently offers uh, the highest interest rate among uh, emerging countries and has drawn great interest from investors in recent months. However, uh, being the world's uh, largest energy exporter, uh, Russia stands to be hurting international trade if its currency becomes too strong. Uh, so it's in the country's best interest uh, to keep the ruble from appreciating too quickly, uh, too much, uh, excuse me, too much too quickly. Um, and also, the Russian economy still remains weak as credit conditions remain tight despite interest rate cuts. So that's another motivating factor for the country, for Russia, uh, to continue to slash its rates. So we are going to continue, uh, very likely, going to continue to see uh, downward pressure uh, on interest rates uh, in Russia as well. That's it for today. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody, and we'll see you next week.